How I like to look at it is, in terms of database performance, I always like to be aware of top-down design. By top-down design, I mean designing and building an application and the underlying database structure, in other words, the tables, how you set up the database, based on the application. I like to think of design of a new application and database in tandem. In other words, you can design from the top down, in other words, build the application and build the underlying structures from the application, or you can build the application from the ground up, where you build the database structures first and then build the application on top. Top down design is quite common when using object structures and attempting to overlay an object structure on top of a relational database, the two don't quite match and you end up with a mishmash of structures and often potential problems. You cannot create an object database in a relational database and expect it to behave like an object structure. It will not be efficient. However, there are many things you can do to alleviate the issues between the two. Many companies prefer to simply do application development and wait to hire a DBA until later and allow the developers to build tables, which is normally correct because developers generally know how to build table structures. However, there is a lot of input that somebody such as a data architect or a database administrator who knows the operating system and the underlying structure of an Oracle database, there is a lot that these people can actually contribute even in the development cycle, as opposed to post-development and production. Be aware of using languages such as PLSQL. PLSQL is interpretive. That means it's not compiled. It means that it is compiled and parsed when you execute it in production. However, in Oracle Database 10G, PLSQL is actually stored in binary objects, although I'm not actually sure yet how much difference this makes to the execution speed of PLSQL. The original idea of PLSQL stems from the need to build stored procedures inside a relational database. The idea was that database access code, either getting or changing data, was actually executed on the server. Nowadays, with multiple tier structures and what are not necessarily thin clients anymore, a lot of activity can actually be executed on the client machines to help distribute processing between the client machines, the web servers, application servers, and the database. So using stored procedures is not necessarily such a good idea anymore. Also, beware of using triggers. They can cause some serious concurrency problems in highly shareable database structures such as OLTP environments. Java and the Oracle JVM are application friendly but can potentially cause the same problems as using PLSQL because it is interpretive. However, Java is probably more versatile than PLSQL and probably a better number cruncher. Remember, if you want number crunching, use C. In fact, Java is quite possibly slower to execute within the Oracle JVM than PLSQL. The temptation with Java is to build more complexity object structures, overlay those object structures directly onto relational database, which can sometimes end up with problems later on down the line. However, Java is much more versatile and powerful than PLSQL.